Hi there. It's me, Michael, your friendly neighbor, neighborhood <laughs> humble stroke assaulter. Wow. Um, <clears throat> holy communication deficits, Batman. So I'm here today not to promote my channel. I'm going to promote someone else's channel. Uh, so last week, yeah, sounds right. She'll correct me if I'm wrong. So last week, a fine woman from the United Kingdom contacted me via the Twitters and asked me if I would help out with a little project of hers. And I was like, sure, tell me more. Regale me with the story of your fine project. Turns out she's the PhD type. Her name is Karen Thomas. Hi, Karen. So her and I have interacted um, over the Twitterverse and uh, she's like some of my content. And so she is a University of Cambridge PhD um, post-stroke fatigue. Uh, she's a chartered physiotherapist, both in neuro, uh, neurological and pediatrics, and she's also a sailor slash BUSA chair. I'm not sure what that is. Um, so she has started a um, a uh, kind of a reference library, if you will. And what it's going to be, it's going to be people like myself or yourself who've been the uh, survivor of a stroke and uh, or you could be possibly a family member a caregiver you know uh, or you could be a clinician or some form of uh, rehab and therapy support professional so you can email uh, and I'll give you the email down below or I'll put the link up there I just have to remember that's at a minute and 48 seconds and then what then what happens is you can record your video or email and ask a question and we can create a brain trust, forgive the pun. Um, and that way people get the chance to share their stories. People get the chance to interrelate between other uh, stroke survivors or brain injury survivors. People get to see the way other clinicians and researchers and professionals in the field, be that a, an occupational therapist, be that speech and language. Because, you know, you got to love your SLT people because um, you really can't argue with them especially if you've, you know, you get it. Um, uh, you've got your uh, OTs, your PTs, you've got your SLTs, you've got neuropsychiatrists, neuropsychologists, you've got your neurologists, your GPs, like all of the people that are part of your clinical team. Social workers can't forget, forget about you find people, registered, physio, registered psychotherapists. Again, you're amazing people. And so this allows people that are experientially living the education can help and give assistance to those that have to go to school to get it because they weren't fortunate enough to, you know, be one of the stroke folk. So again, I'm going to recommend you go to her channel. I'm going to leave the link to her channel down below. Um, and then I'm going to leave in the description, uh, the link to the channel and the email address. So let me just give it out to you now before I forget, because you know, I'm a man. Now you might be a bit perplexed because she is British. So she's going to have a foreign accent and I thought she'd be taller like significantly taller. She's only like that tall, like maybe that tall. Um, I thought you'd really be taller. Sorry, I should have been more organized. Oh, here we go. It's called the patient voice. I kind of like the wordplay on that one. So you can email the patient voice platform at gmail.com. So the patient voice platform, all one word, no hyphenation, punctuation, capitalization, you know, in any way at gmail.com, right? And you can email a question, you can email a concern, uh, you can email a video, right? Uh, now just keep in mind, uh, I'm not a doctor. She is, she's a PhD, but I'm not a doctor. I've only played one on TV. Um, you know, if it's gonna be real serious medical questions, it's probably better you go to your clinical team, right, with those. Um, because, again, they're not your physician of record or your uh, OT or PT of record. So let's just face it here. Some of the advice we can give is very situationally specific. And in some cases would be very, wouldn't be ethical or responsible to give you advice in a very specific situation uh, that, you know, and that's just a matter of, they're not, professionally involved with you. 
Uh, and again, I try to avoid giving specific information when I've had a few stroke survivors um, approach me. I actually had someone who's, who's I'm not gonna name the individual, but someone approached me on Twitter today and said, hey, I see you're a stroke survivor. Yeah, and you're pretty, you're like, you're an advocate. I'm like, kind of. And my mom just had a stroke and I'm like, I'm so sorry, right? So her and I had a, uh, a Twitter conversation um, about uh, what her mom is going through and uh, and her experience from it and kind of she wanted some reassurance and, and sort of what was going on and I, I hope your mom is getting well um, I hope it isn't as scary as it was before we had our conversation and uh, I really hope everything's on the mend right just lean on the clinical team and let them do their jobs and unfortunately the medical community and sometimes is going to give you a very expensive educated guess so hopefully you know all things work out for you um, I've had other people reach out to me um, on Instagram. I've had new comments, so it's, I guess I should really get off my ass and do a answers or comments, questions video. I've been meaning to do that for a while now. So basically, there's a new resource that's being developed. Um, Karen was a bit concerned that it hasn't taken off quite well. Taked, taked off, taken off quite well. And, and I'm trying to let her know that, you know, you've got 30, 40 views in three days, which is pretty reasonable for um, a brand new channel with brand new content. And it's very niche. So I'm going to ask all of my subscribers to go be one of her subscribers. So stop doing what you're doing now and go subscribe to Karen. Well, not right now, but later now. Um, you know what I mean. So go subscribe to Karen. Um, if you want to share your story, share your story. If you want to ask a question, ask a question. Uh, you know, just keep in mind there's certain things that can't be asked or answered simply due to the, you know, legalities and ethics. Yeah. Um, the lawyers would get unhappy, right? So, and, and it wouldn't be responsible. It just wouldn't be responsible. Um, I've had people approach me over email or whatnot, and I'm like, hey, dude, I can give you some really, um, um, really bland advice. Um, but that, then again, that's really a decision between you and your clinical team. And I, I'm never going to give anyone medical advice. I'm going to say, hey, listen, here's what I've seen. Here's what I've experienced. Take some of this knowledge, do a little bit of research, you know, on, on appropriate websites and then go forward from there. And don't just trust Dr. Google. So on that note, please go down uh, in the link in the description down below. And then again, at 732, um, I'll try to remember that. If you could um, please follow the link, go to Karen's channel, watch the video, subscribe to her channel, you know, and uh, give her a little bit of digital, sorry, that's going to sound wrong, give her a little bit of uh, internet engagement. That almost sounded really dirty. Sorry, Karen. And then at that point, please feel free, email and uh, share your story, share your questions, share your comments, your strikes, your struggles, your successes, whatever they may be. Please just go ahead and share them. Right, because the only way we can improve the successful outcomes of people that have suffered, or not really suffered, but have uh, had to go through a stroke, how the carers and support system, the family and the friends of those that have had a stroke, have to deal with that. We can only um, embedder their lives with more knowledge and more shared experiences. So on that note, I'm going to bid you five people good day. Good day. And if you happen to see either in yourself, sorry, if you happen to enjoy what I've been doing, and apparently 263 of you have. Um, you subscribe to the channel. So please like, share, subscribe. Maybe I should move this part to the front of the video because most people do, but eh. Uh, like, share, subscribe. If you know someone that's going through the uh, recovery from a stroke or you're someone that's supporting someone going through the recovery of a stroke, please point the channel out to them. They might get some uh, benefit out of the content I generate. And if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you the signs and symptoms of a stroke, that being someone appears to be immediately befuddled, confused, or has lost their sense of balance, Someone has having vision problems. They can't see to one eye. They only see in grayscale. They can't move their eyes in a certain direction. They only see a little dot in the world. Now, someone has facial droop. There's a pronounced slackening of the facial muscles. They uh, can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. They have slurred, stuttering speech. You have an inability to understand speech, inappropriate speech for a situation in context. Um, uh, you have a general body weakness, weakness on one side, or the inability to stand unaided. Please immediately get that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.